Good day to you all. Welcome to my midweek press conference. There is food for you to eat in the press room after this, um, so bear with me. And then you pricks can stuff your fat little faces so you can have energy to bang on your typewriters with your little cock fingers. Um, it's no secret now that the decision was made to bench Eli for this week's game against the Raiders. I have a few things to say about that, and then I'll try to remain calm. I told those cocksuckers that was a pathetic thing to do to a guy who was giving his all to an organization and team for 14 fucking years. As you know, I am the grand exalted pupa for football operation. I, uh, I can't make anyone do anything, but I gave them an earful. I basically told them that you can't blame Eli for this season. I told them if, if you want to try the kid out, then maybe I can understand. I told them putting Geno Smith in, when we know how he leads a team from his days with the Jets, it, it, is a fucking farce. Geno Smith was picked up as a backup to Manning, just in case Manning got hurt in a game, or for a short period of time, and, and we had a chance for the playoffs. We didn't want to throw the kid into that situation. You throw Gino in there and maybe his veteran presence can handle the pressure and he wins a game or two, but at two and nine with a shitty offensive line and a bunch of backup receivers, you just don't throw the kid to the wolves. But you also don't make this decision for Eli. You have to make Eli make that decision for Eli. I'm pissed off at the coaches the general management, the, the ownership, because they had to give their blessing for this move to happen. And that's all I have to say about that right now. Look, Father Time will catch up with us all at some point. There's no arguing that. Mother Time likes to dress up like a Catholic schoolgirl and take it in the poop when she's drunk, but that's another story. So... Having said that, here's the injury report for this week. Uh, Casillas, inflamed sphincter, possible. Dakwa, jelly nuts, probable. Uh, Diasi, separated twat, doubtful. Fluka, stretchy asshole, painful. Goodson, ruptured uh, gorgonzola, delicious. Uh, JPP, bleeding meat puppet. Horrifying. Pew. Skull fucked. Interesting. Vernon. Bruise G spot. Incredulous. Uh, Shepard, Tomlinson, and Munson. I don't give a fuck. Suit up or suck my dick. Gabish. My mother in law went to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code VIC50 because it's a different code for the press conference. And uh, didn't bet yet. She needs to reevaluate re the game with Eli not starting. She said to me, hey, jerk off. Uh, can Gino play a football or is he a piece of shit too? I, I said, look, he could be shit like, but you never know. It's the NFL. Any given Sunday. And she said, hey, any given Sunday. I can spit into your pasta on any given Sunday, okay? So, Go to mybookie.ag, put in the promo code VIC50, bet, don't bet, eat shit, fuck you, fuck me, shut up, sit down. <sighs> Look, here's the deal. I don't want to hear anything more about Coughlin and McAdoo and Eli and blah, 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 blah. We were seven and nine. Six and ten, and six and ten in Coughlin's last three years. So j just shut the fuck up, okay? And remember how you killed him too? And then McAdoo goes 11 and five last year, and you said he was a genius. And now he's two and nine, and you want him out. And Eli was the quarterback through all of those years the good, the bad, the ugly. Again, I think it was a shitty thing to do to Eli, but let's not pretend that we all haven't been questioning change for the last fucking five years, okay? Let's at least be honest with each other. 
Now is not the time to talk about Eli's career. Personally, I think there was a reason to sit him now, and no one is talking about it publicly. It is to keep him healthy and let him get his mind and body back for next season when changes will be made, new people are brought in, and Eli can still lead a team with an offensive line. He was taking a beating this year for no reason. Not a two and nine. That's what I think is happening. I think Eli is back with the kid at number two behind him, learning next year. But I guess we will see. We shall see. Okay, I'm done. I have a team to prepare, a game to play this Sunday. You want a headline? Here's your headline. Eli sit, giant shit. Suck my dick. You can thank me later. Go Big Blue. Why don't you shove that pen up your fucking ass?